most sellers of differentiated products are faced with a downward sloping demand curve because their competitors do not sell perfect substitute products. They have some power to search for the profit maximizing price. Price searches can set different prices for different buyers if they have sufficient market power. But most fixed price sellers resort to single pricing. Single pricing means the same price is applied to all units, even though some buyers are willing to pay more. Therefore, a lower price needed to sell just one more unit must be offered for all units. Because the same price applies to all units sold at any given price level, total revenue, TR, is equal to price times quantity sold. Here TR is represented by the blue area. Let's plot the total revenue curve, TR. The vertical distance in the upper panel simply maps the blue area below. When demand is price elastic, that is, when the percentage change in quantity demanded is larger than the percentage change in price, lowering price will generate larger total revenue. In a straight line downward sloping demand curve, the midpoint locates the price that maximizes total revenue. After maximum total revenue is reached, Further decrease in price would lead to a decline in total revenue because the percentage change in quantity demanded is smaller than the percentage change in price. Since a single price searcher will not generally lower its price beyond the maximum revenue point, we can concentrate on the rising TR segment to see how lowering price affects the marginal revenue, MR. MR is the additional revenue generated when one more unit is sold. Because TR is increasing at a decreasing rate, the slope of its tangents, which represents MR, decreases when more is sold at lower prices. MR is negative after the maximum total revenue point is reached and will not be shown here. Because a lower price needed to sell just one more unit must be offered for all units, the marginal revenue MR gained by the seller by lowering price is always less than the price paid by the buyers. That is, P is greater than MR. When a firm must choose its price to maximize profit, how does it determine the maximum profit output? Assuming that we have some fixed inputs in the short run, and that diminishing returns set in as more variable inputs are added, we will have an inverted S-shaped total cost curve, TC. Let's bring back average total cost, ATC, and marginal cost, MC. The firm identifies the maximum profit output level where TR minus TC is the greatest. This output level occurs where the slopes of the tangents to TC and TRs are equal. Since the slope of the tangent to TR is equal to MR, and the slope of the tangent to TC is equal to MC, when the slope of these two tangents are equal, MR is equal to MC. That means we can directly determine the maximum profit output by the intersection of MR and MC. At the maximum profit output Q pi, the firm will be able to sell all it produces 
at p pi is indicated by the demand curve. At q pi, the average profit is indicated by the gap between p and atc. Total profit is indicated by the rectangular area, which is calculated by the average profit per unit times the number of units. Maximum profit is represented by an area in the bottom panel because the vertical axis is based on per unit value. At the maximum profit output Q pi, P pi is greater than MC. If buyers are willing to pay more than the MC of producing Q pi, why not charge less and produce more? The firm could expand output from Q pi to Q2 and charge a price P2, which is equal to MC but the profit would be smaller than when MR is equal to MC. Because price is always greater than marginal revenue under single pricing with a downward sloping demand curve, and MR equal to MC is the condition for profit maximization. Therefore, price is always greater than MC when profit is maximized. But P greater than MC does not guarantee positive profit. Positive profit depends on the relative position of ATC to the demand curve. If ATC is low compared to price, there could be positive profit. When ATC is high compared to price, due to higher fixed costs, for example, the same demand condition can result in zero profit or a negative profit.